It is hard to buy real estate. It's not as easy as it is everywhere else in the world. Hi everyone, welcome back to Property Chat with Lockie and Matt. And today we've got a very special guest with us, Simon Cohen, welcome. Thank you. Simon, I guess to tell everyone a little bit about yourself first and foremost, um, you're a director of Cohen Handler, which is Australia's premier buyers agency. So could you tell us a little bit about your background and what you do? Sure. Um, so I founded and run Cohen Handler. Um, as you say, we are the, the sort of biggest buyers agency in the country. We have offices in Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. Uh, we founded and started the business in 2009. So we've been going for about 10 and a half years. Prior to that, I was a real estate agent for five years and started the business purely because I saw a gap in, in the marketplace and saw that buyers weren't really you know, taken taken seriously and, and without, I guess, a buyer, there's no transaction. So, so that's how we kicked off. Okay. Well, I think a lot of, I guess, buyers and sellers out there in the real estate space probably still don't know what a buyer's agent does, especially in Australia. I mean, it's something which is, you know, overseas been a lot more common for some time, but can you give everyone an idea of exactly what that role entails? Sure. I'll start off with the layman term, and that is we're the opposite to a real estate agent. So our job is to represent the buyer in the process. So we kind of do three things for a buyer. A buyer comes on board with us, and we go out and we find everything that exists in the marketplace. And as the two of you will know, a lot of stock, especially in Sydney, sells off for pre-market, and it's our job to get our clients access to everything that exists, including that orphan pre-market, on-market, post-market, whatever it is that exists out there. Interestingly enough, the majority of the stock we buy is awful pre-market so it's stock that buyers wouldn't get on their own we then do all the due diligence for them uh, so we come up with a property what, what a property is worth and why it's worth that etc and then we do the negotiation for them so we represent the buyer in all facets of the buying process mm -hmm. and i guess from a uh, a buyer and a seller's perspective they're probably thinking you know what can a buyer expect to benefit from that process you know how are they going to end up in a better position well i think if we look at all those three points that i mentioned before one they're going to get access to an entire marketplace that they're not getting access to on their own and you know with the majority of property selling in that marketplace that off market marketplace mm -hmm. they're going to want to get access to that stuff um two i think a lot of buyers want to know that they're paying the right price and what is the right price and making sure they're not building a block of flats next door to the house they're about to buy. And number three, you know, we are expert negotiators. It's something we do all day, every day. We're unemotional, we're unbiased. And so, you know, they're going to get an outcome financially that they wouldn't be able to get on their own. So I'd say they're the three main benefits. I'm sure from a seller's point of view, they're always curious about where you're getting buyers that might differ from a real estate agent and how that process works for you. Yeah, look, I think the difference is, and, and, and part of our success from being around a long time is the buyers that sign up with us, you know, they obviously... They sign an exclusive agreement, they pay a retainer. So from a real estate agent's perspective, from a, a seller's perspective, they're probably the most qualified buyers in the marketplace. And they're legitimate, they're real, they're not time wasters and they're not tire kickers. And so they really are an advantage for sellers too because if you're a seller, you're getting these legitimate buyers through your home and ultimately that's all you want. Having sold before, the worst thing is you know, you get the house ready, you have the shower, you wipe it down, <laughs> fluff the pillows. Bake the bread. <laughs> all, this, all the stuff you would never do normally, yeah. right? And then like a tire kick comes through and you, you just deflated. You know, these are at least legitimate, real qualified buyers. I guess there's a perception or there has been, you know, that a buyer's agent might be something which a higher net worth individual might engage. But it's not really the case, is it? I mean, there's some really good benefits for everyone at any point in their buying cycle. Look, and I think that mentality was right, you know, 10, 15 years ago. But I think, you know, especially in Sydney, especially in Australia, it is hard to buy real estate. It's not as easy as it is everywhere else in the world. You know, access is a problem. Um, valuations are a problem. And so it has become time for people who work you know a lot has become a problem so it's become something that that everyone's using from first home buyers to investors to to wealthy you know home buyers it's become part of the process and so there isn't a niche or a demographic anymore it, it really is just anyone looking to enter 
the property market and anyone who wants to get the best experience and outcome from it. Yeah. Is there a time frame in which you would normally expect a buyer to say, this is the start of the journey and we'd like to see you purchasing something within maybe 60 days? I think my answer to that is when the right property at the right price comes up. You know, there is no pressure from us. There's no time period. You know, if we sign you up and we know you're legitimate, we're comfortable in it taking as as long as it, it can. I think you know, where any buyer's agent might have an issue is, you know, you're looking for a waterfront house in Vaucluse and you've got a budget of $4 million. Well, you know, we're probably not going to work together. But the reality is, you know, we are in a fortunate position where it's not about churn and burn. It's about, you know, taking our time to ultimately get the right the right outcome. I mean, we signed up a client two weeks ago and within a week showed them an off-market property in Vaucluse, which we bought for 5.4 million, which was well under market. That took a week. You know, there's people we've been working with for two months just because we either haven't found the right property or hasn't been the right price. Um, And there is no right or wrong. It's, you know, it's a timing game. Well, how do you feel that your, I guess, strategy as a buyer's agency has, has changed with, I guess, recent events? You know, we've obviously seen the shift away from um, on-site auctions for a period. We're now in this sort of space where we're doing both a mixture of on-site, a bit of sort of digital auctions. Obviously, a lot of people are utilising private treaty sales more than they have done. Yep. So have you found that your approach has really changed? Um, well, look, I think I'll say, I'll say a couple of things. Firstly, when, when COVID-19 hit, I made the decision that, for me, I was going to come to work every day like it was the same as the day before. I think a, 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 a lot of times what happens is people get bogged down in what's going on around them when, you know, if you keep going, the reality is nothing has to change, right? And actually what's happened for us is we've got a whole lot busier because, you know, this is a time where opportunity knocks and buy, there are buyers out there who want to take advantage of that opportunity. And we've been the force that are saying, we're here to help you take advantage of that opportunity. Um, what has been great for us though, is that that off market part of the market has got a lot bigger. Far more is off market, far more is private treaty. And so it's just been a lot, a lot more in our benefit than it has ever been. So, you know, touch wood, uh, the recent events have actually been for us something we've been able to adapt to very quickly and take advantage for our clients and and you know our clients have really seen you know reap, been reaping the reward of that mm. and i think what everyone's really curious to know and you see a different side of it from dealing with the buyers and having those in-depth conversations with them what sort of what's the sentiment out there in terms of how are people feeling towards the market at the moment and to maybe going towards the end of the year what do you think is going to happen look i think there are a lot of people who 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 were maybe looking a year ago when the market had a lot of heat in it and now they're really able to get into the market which i think is a great thing i think anyone who thinks the market's crashed is a fool because if you're working in the markets that we work in it certainly hasn't there is and and in my humble opinion will always be a supply and demand issue in these blue chip areas and there are a lot of approved or cashed up buyers. Prices have definitely come off, but they haven't fallen. And I see a lot of confidence in the market, you know? And the, the, the issue is there aren't a lot of people selling. And so when you have a demand for a product and no product, you know, the, the laws of business say, you know, I don't need to go on. But, they're, they're, you know, we definitely have been buying property for less than what we were buying it for last year. But I can't say the sky has fallen out of it. But buyers, as you're saying, are still you're still getting good inquiry from people looking to buy you. You sign up. Never had stronger inquiry ever, which I think is very interesting. Interesting, yeah, okay. What do you think the market looks like towards spring? Are you, do you think you'll see more stock and maybe a few less buyers, or do you think that that'll I probably hope so. stay steady? I hope so. Look, I mean, I've got a lot of high end clients from overseas who are taking advantage of the exchange rate. You know, I describe it like a sale at Bloomingdale's, right? It's like 20% off the already 30% because, yeah. you know, prices are down a little bit and then the exchange rate's giving you that extra like Boxing Day sale price. So for them, it's a phenomenal time to be buying. So we have some incredible international buyers in our books. I definitely hope there will be more, but, you know, you, you made a really interesting point. I don't think there's going to be a spring this year because the reality is no one's going away in July. So I don't. I think the market's kind of going to, personally, kind of going to just stay the same for the rest of the year. Yeah. Well, part of the reason that happens, as we as we both know, is that in a lot of those blue chip areas, 
Don't the, say it is depressing. <laughs> so many people are going away. Everyone's yeah. going to Europe that time of year. We all know that. So the fact that that's removed, uh, yeah, I think people will certainly be pushing on and buying and selling in that time. It was interesting you talked off air about if you were looking for a holiday home, now would be the perfect opportunity. You're not going overseas, you're not taking those holidays, so it's probably more important that if you weren't looking to take a break and thinking of investing in holiday properties, well, now's the time. you'd use it, right? I also think, and you know better than, than I, as someone who sells a lot of them, but I also think it would be a good time to be buying a holiday home now. Typically, it's the first thing people offload, right, um, before their primary residence. And I think people have really gotten used to and are loving the idea of spending a lot of time at home. And if you can get that home away from home, in a time where I don't think people are going to feel safe traveling overseas for a while, it's probably a you know, and a very attractive thing. Yeah. How have you done bar inspections over the last three weeks? I was I'm, curious about that. I've been going to all of them, um, live or die at. <laughs> um, a lot of our clients have been coming. I've just been FaceTiming them. Yeah. And then if obviously they like it, we get them through. Yeah. I have to tell you, it's been very easy. You know, yeah. we've been alone in the house. There haven't been a hundred people everyone's sanitized. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is amazing because there's plenty of times in the Eastern suburbs, certainly where there were queues up the street to get into a property and that was nothing to do with social distancing. So, you know, yeah, to just have people breathing on. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we've had a really, we've enjoyed it. Yeah. That's all I can say. We really have enjoyed it. Yeah. Awesome. I think that wraps things up. We really appreciate you taking the time to sit with us today and just give us a bit of insight to buyers agents. And I'm sure for anyone who wants to reach out, where can they contact you? Uh, just cohenhandler.com.au. Um, you'll find everything you need. Awesome. Well, thanks, mate. We appreciate you coming in. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks Thank for you. having me.